Hi, and welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Pisces for Twin Flames. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. <laughs> well, if you weren't awake, you are now. <laughs> Just a quick thank you to everyone for the likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. It's been really fun to watch the channel grow, and of course, that means I can do more readings for you. So, love to see it. All right, we're going to dive in with a couple of tarot decks, the first one being the Tattoo Tarot. We'll figure out who this message is for or about, and then we'll also use the Hidden Truth Oracle uh, to get some insights into what they're thinking about, and finish off with the Angel, um, the Romance Angel Oracle to get some advice from Spirit. All right, let's see what we, oops, let's see what we have here. We have the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands coming out. So from this, I can see we've got a masculine energy here who is ready to tell the truth on something. And that truth is going to kind of come in hot. So it'll be fast moving energy. The Knight of Wands is the fastest moving energy of the Knights. And with it being paired with the King of Swords, you can even just kind of see that determination on his face. So something here needs to be said. And let's see what else we can figure out here for you. Whoops. All right. Somebody's also just being difficult. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely some information coming to light. We've got the sun coming out with the tower, and the sun is easily seen as the happiest card in the deck. It's, you know, always one of those cards that makes me think of like a really beautiful day where you don't have shit to do and you can do whatever you want and just enjoy nature, but this coming out with the tower, especially after I just said somebody's coming in with some truth, there is a moment, literally a moment of truth coming in that will change everything because this King of Swords has something to say. Ooh, drama. <laughs> All right, what else do we need to tell Pisces? All right, we've got the Three of Wands. Somebody's waiting for their ships to come in, and I think this might actually be you, Pisces. We've got the Magician coming out as well. The Magician is somebody who's really known for being able to make the most of what they have available to them. It's kind of like that theory, you know, like cats always landing on their feet. This person always lands on their feet. They know how to pivot when it's in their best interest and they know how to find the right resources, whether it's people or tools, whatever it is, to achieve what it is that they're looking to achieve. But this person, they're waiting for their ships to come in, and the reason I think this might be you is it gives me kind of like a high priestess vibe. Uh, somebody with some good intuition kind of knows that this shit's coming their way. Let's see. Um, sorry, I have a little bit of allergies today, you guys. I think... I think we're going to do the Golden Art Nouveau and we'll figure out a little bit more about what truth this person has to say. Although, you know Pisces, I'm thinking you maybe already have an inkling. What else does Pisces need to know about this Twin Flame situation? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is reaping what you sow. I think there's a little bit on both sides for this as far as like someone here feels a need to speak their truth because they have learned a lesson about uh, what happens when you hold back and someone else here has been getting some good blessings for how they handled a situation in the past probably a rejection but let's take a look here so okay yeah we've got the six of cups coming out Definitely someone from your past. And this is clarifying the King of Swords. So I definitely think it's a masculine energy from the past who has to admit something that they've held back on. Uh, 
and they're going to make an offer. It might not be a very good offer. <laughs> uh, the Page of Pentacles, you know, that's the lowest kind of offer you can make. But hey, maybe they're trying to respect uh, taking things slow and they just want to like take you out on a date. But there is definitely honest here. honesty here as a key component of what's happening in this tower moment. Tell me more about the tower moment, please, for Pisces. Ooh. All right, so then we have the Knight of Pentacles. I do like to see this because this demonstrates some progress, okay? So there was some immaturity here on the masculine side and through, basically through their encounter with you or whatever relationship you had, probably more of like a friendship, there is... A maturing here going from the page to the night there's also a decent amount of pentacles in this line here so I'm thinking we might have earth sign uh, presence in the birth chart on either side probably more of the masculine but here we go with some more we've got the nine of pentacles coming out and this is giving me more of that feminine vibe The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's like the opposite of codependent. This is somebody who stands in their power, doesn't need to rely on anybody else. They're probably having um, a decent measure, if not a lot of success within their career. And they're well respected. People ask them for advice, uh, want to do things to emulate them, probably are a little bit jealous of them. Tell me more about the Magician, please. <laughs> yeah, so this um, Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, they are on a new course. They are pivoting, just like I said, and trying something new. They're taking what they've learned and finding a new way to probably make money off of it, but it could also just be like a new, a new way of living, a new approach, a new belief system. <laughs> Uh -huh. New beginning. Ace of Wands. So this is coming under the Seven of Pentacles. And remember I said I had a feeling that this was applying to both parties here, the King of Swords and the Magician. And in this regard, I, I think the Ace of Wands also applies to both because what we have here is a new beginning for this Magician from their own making. And then we also have a desire this masculine is trying to work towards a new beginning. Remember to take it how it resonates and not get too caught up in genders. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, so we have we have an Ace of Cups in the reverse next to the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is the Magician. So this Queen of Wands, remember I said that the Magician is somebody who's really known for being able to take what they have available to them and make the most of it? The same thing can be said of the Queen of Wands. They're seen as very capable and also highly sought after. But despite that, we have a cup of love here in the reverse, okay? So this, I believe, is twofold. We've got somebody who was rejected in the past, Queen of Wands, who might about who might be about to deliver a rejection of her own. Because this cup in the reverse is clarifying that small offer that he wanted to make, remember? And then we've got Seven of Swords and the World. I rather like this pairing, even though if you've watched a couple of videos, you may have picked up that the Seven of Swords is my least favorite card. It's a card about betrayal or deceit, uh, sneaking around, hiding who you really are. And with it being paired with the world, this is somebody who is not going to do that anymore. Somebody who's not sneaking around anymore. There's an end to the deceit. Okay, and this is clarifying underneath uh, the Knight of Pentacles, where I was talking about somebody learning a lesson and maturing, okay? So this person is 
trying out a new version of themselves. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles, please. Yep. So there might be be a no contact situation here with your twin flame as we've got the five of pentacles coming out again strong pentacle energy so that would be um capricorn taurus or virgo doesn't have to be and again remember you probably want to actually check out your birth chart to figure out what all is actually in your um well what signs your birth chart consists of um, it can be kind of interesting to see some people align a little bit better with uh, the moon sign, for example. Tell me more about the fool, please. And then we have the three of pentacles. This feminine energy is stable respected, reliable, and there are people who want to work with her. There are people who are fighting over working with her. It could be, um, you know, more of a, a hobby where people want to, you know, create something with her. But there are people who see, there are a lot of people who see value in this um, Queen of Wands. All right, let's move over to the Hidden Truth Oracle. We'll get some insight into what this person is thinking. And then we'll close it out with the Romance Angels. What does Pisces need to know? Ooh. I bury myself in work to forget you. What else for Pisces? I look for you everywhere. I want to feel that way again. <laughs> I almost said I want to feel you again. So there also, I think, is some thinking around physical touch. <laughs> what else does Pisces need to know about the Twin Flame? I wish things could be different. So many things remind me of you. <laughs> Isn't that just the way it goes when you're trying really hard to forget somebody? You see like their car driving around, you see their doppelganger or somebody wearing their favorite shirt, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's time for me to heal now. This is good, this is more maturing happening, right? All right. Let's see what the angels have for you. What do we have for Pisces, Twin Flame? <laughs> Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This could be for both of you. It could also be more for the masculine because we've got somebody who really needs time to heal. If you have healing yet to do, remember that's something you've got to do before you can have a healthy relationship, then maybe you need some time alone too. What else do we have for Pisces? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. It's not always easy to do, but I think it's really, really important to practice something called non-attachment. And what that means is anything that is meant for you will be there for you. Anybody, a friend or a lover that you're meant to be with, if you need time apart, you have to take that time apart because if they're meant to be in your life, they come back to you. I know this from experience. <laughs> and I just want you guys to be happy. We've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring and wedding 
The situation involves marriage. This doesn't necessarily mean that you get married. It could mean that someone is already married. I'm not really getting that feel. I think it's just a matter of time. So uh, it just isn't the right time right now because someone has some healing to do. And when they can get through that healing, maybe you guys can come back together and have a nice little chat. All right, I hope that helped you today, Pisces. Thank you again for all the support and have a wonderful rest of your day.